Nicole and today we will be covering Cells Part 2. So, if you have yet to watch Cells Part 1 video, please go ahead and check it out first before you join us for Cells Part 2. For Cells Part 2 video, we will be sharing with you some writing structures to answer cells related open ended questions. Have you said so much? Are you ready to learn? I can assure you that this is going to make things so much easier for you to answer cells related open ended questions. Let's go! For all the cells related questions, we have to know the writing structure of part and function. So, other than knowing the similarities and differences between the animal cells and the plant cells, we also need to know the parts of the cell as well as its function. So, to save you some time, we are going to show you this page that will tell you what are the different parts and the different functions that you have to know in your primary 5 syllabus. So, as you can see, there are a total of 5 parts as well as the functions related to it. With all the information from the cell part and functions as well as the cell division from part 1's video, we are going to combine the two forces and answer this question. Question 1A. Let's pretend I'm Azima. Azima is an environmental scientist and one day when she was doing her research at the pond, she collected some water samples and brought the water samples to the laboratory. She observed the water sample under a microscope and what she saw was this single cell organism. Azima remembered what her mentor told her about such organism. They survive by hunting for its own food using its eyes and tail. But Azima disagreed and commented that the organism should be able to survive without feeding on other organisms. Give a reason why she says so. Whenever a question asks you to give a reason, you have to explain the question. Do you remember for cells related open ended question, what is the writing structure? Remind me again. Hmm. Yes, you are right. It is part and function. Do you know which part of the organism allows the organism to survive without feeding or hunting on other organisms for food? Hmm. I think it has to be able to make its own food, right? So which part do you think there is? The part is the chloroplast and the function of it, it contains chlorophyll to trap sunlight in the process of photosynthesis to make its own food. So the final answer is... Ta-da! The single cell organism has chloroplast which contains chlorophyll in, to trap sunlight in the process of photosynthesis to make its own food. Part and function. But wait! We are not done yet. There's one more thing that we need to do because it's an explanation question. We have to link back the question to the context of the question. Let's continue adding on the last part to the answer. So hence, the organism does not need to feed on other organisms for food. Yay, we have completed part A of the question. So let's now move on to part B. Azima continued to explore the wonders of this organism. She took a knife and cut off the tail of the organism. To her surprise, she observed that the tail started to grow. Explain how did this happen? When I did not cut off the tail of the organism, does it remind you of what we have, what you have seen in the previous video on cells part one? Whereby you throw the scissors at me and, and cut my skin cells, and my skin cells got damaged. Similarly, the tail of the organism was cut and was damaged, right? So, which part of the cell is in charge of doing so? Hmm, it is the nucleus! In the cell part 1 video, we have learned that the nucleus controls all activities happening within the cell. And one of the activities will be cell division. And cell division it is to repair and replace damaged cells. So the final answer will be the single cell organism contains the nucleus which controls all activities happening within the cell. And what is one of the activities? Such as cell division which repair and replace damaged cells. But wait, we're not done yet. What's missing? Again, this is an explanation question. We need to link back to the context of the question. So let's add that in allowing the tail that has been cut off to grow back into a new tail. In summary, here is the question and the complete answer to both part A and part B of the question. I 
helping you guys, been helpful to you to guide your thinking process and to help you to answer self-related open-ended questions in a more holistic and wholesome manner. Remember to like and share this with your friends. And I'll see you next time. Bye!